If you have an application or a website to deploy on AWS or if you want to learn AWS to gain some skills, the first thing you will need is going to be an AWS account. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an AWS account for free with all the best practices. So watch this video to create your AWS account today. Okay, so I'm here on my computer screen and we can start creating our AWS account. But before we do that, there are two things you will require. One is going to be an email ID and second you will require your bank card. So email ID and a bank card. You can use either credit or a debit card. But if you're watching this video from India, you need to have international payments enabled on your card. You can do it from your bank application or you can call your bank, but you will require a bank card with international payments on and a valid email ID. If you have both of these, we can search for AWS free tier. So AWS free tier is a type of account where AWS provides you with some services for free for the first 12 months. So you can get 750 hours every month for Amazon EC2. You can get 5 GB of storage of Amazon S3 for free. You can get Amazon RDS database 750 hours for free and Amazon DynamoDB. So you can go through all this long list where you can get all the services for free for first one year. So once you are on this page, click on, click on create a free account and you will need to enter your email ID and your account name. So make sure you have a valid email ID because you're going to get a verification code on this. So I'm going to enter my email ID here. Account name is going to be shown when you create an account. So this is an AWS account name. Choose a name of your account. You can change this name on your account settings after you sign up. So I'm going to give this as general account. Once you do that, click on verify email address and you will get a verification code on your email ID. So I'm going to fetch my verification code and I have received it. So I'm going to enter that three. Once you enter the code, click on verify. If you don't found your code, maybe you should have, you have to wait for like up to five minutes or you need to check your spam folder in your email IDs. So I'm going to click on verify option here. So once I have entered my verification, it says your email address has been successfully verified. And now I need to enter my root password. So password, make sure you enter a strong password. Uh, because this is going to be your root account and you don't want anyone else to get this password. So make sure you're using a strong password. So I'm going to enter my password and then click on continue. After you enter your password, you need to enter your contact information and you need to choose why are you using this AWS. So you can choose either for business or for personal. So I'm using this for personal. So I'm going to choose personal and then I need to enter all my details like full name. What is my phone number? What is my country address, city, all of these. So I'm going to pause my video and I'm going to continue after I enter all my details. Now that I've entered my contact information, I'm going to click on agree and click on continue step two. So this is where you need to enter your card details. Make sure you have a card with international payments on. You can either use credit or debit card. This card information is required just to authenticate that you are a real person and you won't be charged unless you use something from AWS. Initially, you will get charged of uh, let's say two rupees or something, uh, but that amount will be all given back to your account. So don't worry. You can enter your card details. It's all safe. So I'm going to enter my card details here and continue the video after I do that. So now that I've entered my card details, I'm going to click on verify and continue. Uh, once you do that, make sure you have international payments enabled. You can find I'm using an ICI account and I have enabled it in my application here. So after you enabled it, you will get something like this where you need to enter your OTP. So I'll enter my OTP here and click on submit. If you click on submit, your card should be charged some amount. And if it is charged, which means your account will be created successfully. So this is going to confirm my payment with my bank. Let's wait for some time and it should give you an error or a success message. So I got a message that my account has been charged for two rupees. So once it is charged, you should see a screen like this or you will get an error message. Uh, so make sure you have international payments enabled. So I'm going to add my details to get the verification either through text message or through voice call. So I'll pause my video to enter my details here and click on send SMS. I should have received an SMS. So I got an SMS on my mobile and it has a verification code. I'm going to enter that 6266. Click on continue step. This is the last step. So I need to select what support plan do I want. So you have three support plans here, basic developer and business. So we're going to go with basic or the free option because I don't want to pay any money and I don't want any extra support as I'm using this for my learnings. So I'm going to click on the basic support plan and click on complete sign up option. Once you click on this, you will have an AWS account. If I'm just going to select my role. I am a DevOps engineer. Let's see if that's here. So it's not there. 
software developer i am interested in devops and click on submit option here so okay let's click on sign in to the console and and let's so once you create an account you will have an you will have root account and aws does not recommend you to use your root account so in the next video i'm going to show you how to create an iem user for yourself and all the other things that you should do if you have created your account so i'm going to enter my email id here the password so my password is okay once i logged in i should be inside my aws account let's see so it's loading so this root account should be protected and to enable protection on this we will require mfa or multi factor authentication if you see now i am inside my account which has the same name what we entered general account and this is how you create your aws account i hope you understood the video and you will now be able to create your own aws account if you have any questions doubt or issues let me know in the comment section and if you are new to cloud cham subscribe to my channel i post videos on aws cloud and devops also check out my next video on all the best practices you should follow if you have a new aws account so watch me in the next video thank you and have a good day